everyone, it's Cleofe again and welcome to Crafting Shed. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this hoodie with a turtleneck. I already did a tutorial on this last month, but that one has no shaping at the crown of the head. So I adjusted this pattern to curve the hoodie right here and it came out so much better. So I'd like to share it here with you. Now let's get started. For the materials, I used this soft classic by Loops and Threads. I used two skeins of this. Each skein is about 354 yards. This is size 4 medium weight yarn in off-white color. But you can use any size 4 of about 500 yards. I use size J 6mm crochet hook. I also needed a pair of scissors, blunt needle, and tape measure. We crochet first the band for the turtleneck, so start with a knot and chain 25. And this is now 25 chains. Row 1, single crochet in second chain from hook, right here. Single crochet in the next chain and in each chain across. And it would now look like this. Row 2, chain 1, turn. Single crochet in the first stitch, back loop only. So just insert in the back loop of the stitch. Single crochet in the next stitch, back loop only. And in each stitch across. So continue with this pattern all the way across. And this is now what it looks like. I'm just going to do two more stitches to end row two. This is now what row two looks like. And each row should have 24 single crochets. Rows 3 to 64, just repeat row 2. So from here, you're, we're just going to chain 1, turn, and then single crochet in the first stitch, and in each stitch across, back loop only. So I'm going to continue my work. I'll be cutting off the video, and I'll be back when I'm done with row 64. And this is now what the piece looks like after row 64. It measures about 19 inches. So we're going to fold the piece halfway like this and then join the two edges together to form a ring so sew these stitch edges together and it would now look like this i've sewn the edges together right here so we now have the round for the turtleneck so from the side where we joined flip the piece to the opposite side right here and we are go going to go to the center and start crocheting right here for the hoodie, going to the left, go around, and back to where we started. So this will be the front of the piece. Get a fresh yarn and join here at the center. So we will be crocheting towards the left, go around, and then go back to where we started. So insert in the same stitch right here, yarn over, pull through, and start round one. Chain one, single crochet in the next stitch, evenly single crochet at the edge of the ring. So I just basically single crochet at the end of each row of the band. Our goal is to have a smooth transition from the band to the hoodie. So continue this pattern around, crochet going around, and I'll see you towards the end of the round. I'm here now at the end of the round. This is what it looks like to start the round. These are single crochets. And since we are now starting to crochet the hoodie, at the last stitch right here, we stop. We don't join. So this is how we end round or row one. And this is what row one looks like. Round two, I'm going to increase this round. So chain one, turn. We go in the opposite direction. Single crochet in the first stitch back loop only right here. Then single crochet in the next stitch and in each stitch around back loop only. And as you go along, increase in some stitches so that this round or row will have 84 stitches. So for example, here in the next stitch, I'm going to increase. So I'm going to do two single crochets in the same stitch. One 
and two, then back to single, one single crochet in each stitch. So distribute this increase. The goal is to get to 84 single crochets around. So the hoodie part is crocheted like a row. That's why I say round or row interchangeably. So continue this pattern and I'll see you at the end of the round. I'm here now at the end of the round. Crochet until the last stitch and don't join. So this is how to end row 2 and this is what row 2 looks like which is now increased to 84 single crochets. Round 3. This is the same as round 2 but without the increases. So chain 1, turn, single crochet in the first stitch, back loop only. Single crochet in the next stitch and in each stitch around, back loop only. So continue this pattern around and I'll see you towards the end of the round. And I'm here now towards the end of the round. I'm just going to finish two more stitches. One and two. And then in the last stitch right here, we're going to stop. We don't join. Just like round two. So this round has 84 single crochets. And this will measure about 26 inches or 13 inches when folded. If you don't have 84, don't worry. Just as long as you are in that vicinity. So this is how to end round three. And this is what round three looks like. Rounds four to 32, just repeat round three. So single crochet in each stitch around, back loop only. So I'm going to continue my work. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back when I'm done with round 32. And this is now what the piece looks like after round 32. From here, I'll start shaping this into a curve. Put a marker at the center here and then uh, I'm going to start crocheting the same pattern, single crochet up to here. Then decrease with single crochet together stitches to shape the head. So this is now round 33. I have done the first half right here, the same pattern as round 3. And I have stopped on the stitch right before the marker. There are three stitches here. The marker is at the center of the three stitches. I'm going to do three single crochet together stitch to decrease and get that shape. So to do the three single crochet together stitch, insert, yarn over, pull through. Insert in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. Insert in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. Four loops in the hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops. So we just decrease this stitches then in the next stitch slip stitch like this and then from here just continue with a regular pattern this is what it looks like um, single crochet in the next stitch back loop only and then just repeat this pattern all the way to the end of the row And this is now what row 33 looks like. And I put marker again at the center so that it's easier to spot for the next row. Round 34, repeat round 33. So crochet the first half again. And this is now what it looks like. I crochet the first half. And we are now at the center. So the same step three single crochet together stitches again here. So yarn, uh, insert in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, insert in the next stitch where the marker is, this is the center, yarn over, pull through, insert in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, four loops in the hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops. Then slip stitch in the next stitch, just like row round 33. And this is what it looks like. So more decrease now. Then continue with single crochet in the next stitch and each stitch all the way across to the end of the row, back loop only. And this is now what row 34 looks like. It is now more decreased. I put marker again at the center so that it's easier to spot for the next row. And here's the close-up of the decrease. 
Round 35, I crocheted the first half again and this is what it looks like. And for this round, we're going to repeat round three, go back to round three, which is single crochet in each stitch. So in this center here, we're just gonna single crochet in each stitch again, still back loop only right here. So just keep doing single crochet in each stitch. And it would look like this. So just repeat this all the way across. And this is now what row or round 35 looks like. Rounds 36 to 45, just repeat rounds 33 to 35 consecutively. So repeat the last three rounds from here on to keep decreasing. So I'm gonna continue my work. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back when I'm done with round 45. And this is now what the piece looks like after round 45. It measures from the top 13 inches to the base. And this is the last stitch or last round. And we can now see the shaping of the head. And from here, we're just gonna close the top, sew the edges together, and we are done. So weave the ends, clean up the tails, and we are done. And this is now what the piece looks like, all clean up and all done. So this is the top of the head where we sew the edges together. I use mattress stitch to sew these together. And this is what the front looks like. For the measurement, the turtleneck is about 9 inches. And the width of the hoodie is about 13 inches. And the height from the top to the base is about 13 inches. If you're new to my channel, please check out my other videos. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this video and please subscribe.